deliver, you should know the audience interest. So, if you deliver the speech with the understanding of the audience interest, the audience will be grasped and we can get the moment. So, that second aspect also he explained. And finally, the script should be very clearly understandable for the audience. And that's why I asked the question. And I think everybody gave the affirmative answer. So, everybody understood what type of leader he is. The continuing with the script, he started with this uh, family kid, how he controlled her, how he dictated her, and she did not listen, then how he calmed down himself, how he changed himself. That is a leader should always know his subordinates or followers and do to their And one way I can suggest, some area you have to, one of the experience you are telling about the bank, some area you have to delegate the responsibility. That is also one of the leadership skills because you have to trust your subordinates. Don't do everything yourself. And Another area he was telling about uh, uh, another area of this micromanaging about the subordinates. That part also you could have elaborated because no subordinate likes uh, his boss micromanaging. So sometimes you have to leave your subordinate to do their mistake and they have to learn by their mistake. Then only they will grow. So that way we can enter it. About the technicality of the speech. You are an excellent speaker and you are very good usage of uh, stage and very good eye contact and gestures were very fine. Uh, but the whole speech has got some area of improvement. So I can tell you had very good eye contact but uh, some of the emotions you could have showed in your facial expression. And uh, try to improve your voice modulation. You have voice modulation but you can improve because in the uh, international speech, uh, dramatizing the speech is the more important to get the points. So you can improve on that two aspects. Definitely you will become a very good speaker in the future. All the
that's not that much comfort. I feel so you can improve that comfort level. I think the time is overshooting and is just try to complete the slides. The next is some of the improvement you can bring in vocal variety. When the engineer and his wife talking, the more effective and varieties in their talks, emotions you can bring. This is the two points improvement in the speaker. Now coming to the subjects, it's a well researched subject, we know that. We going through the engineer chapter, this scenario, the plastic magnetic sticks on that. From there, the chip came, the EMI chip came, then comes the RFI, the speech, the opening and body, and concluded with the message that use all the technologies, but beware of while using because it may be cost you. So the speech concluded with a good message. This is one of the important areas. Now, some of the area, the slides contents are more, so it's not be easy to cover. That's all. So all the best for your future endeavors.
people from it was. She find a way, or she found a way. Right? There is a way on you. The result is here. I am also a family man. I know how to do what it is. The elder one is already working in future. In the modern days now, when we are engaged and we are in love and having a family and taking care of these things, in addition to that, your ambition to grow makes a difference because you are you want to make a living. Let me appreciate you and in this time and let me stop you. Thank okay. you. Thanks. As much as one. Let me tell you. Okay, thank you for your participation. Thank you. Thank you. So anybody interested? Come forward, please. We have time.
as an Indian, most of the Indians, they will like the tea. Tea is like, what you can say, it's like a, for every occasion, everybody wants to have tea. If it is a, uh, what you can say, uh, if you are celebrating, that means if you, if you, if some, someone hears a good news, we will go and have a tea with our friends. Or something also bad also, if you are in, in a bad mood, also you, you want to have a tea. So I think, so in my, as, a, as a bachelor also most of, uh, actually I come from a genetic background. So most, I think most of our, my batchmates or students or poor are in, in, the, in that age. Generally, we, generally, we go for the night talks. If you are going for, if you, if you want to study late hours, then you will have, we will go, we will take it in the late night. So, we call it, we can say for the short term. So, this is the short term. So, can you see your topic? I heard from an interviewer 
always I face difficulties. So uh, I would like to know from the university person that how we can work out this. So this simple questions. Now always the interviewer is asking, tell me about yourself. We will start this type of questions asking. So tell me about yourself. Okay. If you talk about an individual, each individual is different, you know, it's like if you write, that's the way human beings are made. If you're talking about, we have IT people here, the biometric security, and there are multiple, like fingerprints and, you know, written or whatever, uh, these, are, these people are made differently. So the question too, I think, I, I just, let me just, let me just uh, answer a question that, that got my job, current job. The interviewer asked me, so how do, you, how do you make yourself different and how do you make yourself convincing to the interviewer? That's what makes sense. So the, the question that got this job, the current job, which I've been working for the last nine years, I come from a very low-rated university called Kandu University. When I say low-rated, we are talking about nobody knows outside Kerala, nobody knows about the university. And the question I was asked, there were several people in the panel, several people as the candidates, even from people from top rated universities in the world, top 10. And the interviewer asked me this question, how dare you apply for this position? I just wanted to see you, that's why I just, not to give you the job. Because you, when you say that you come from an ex-university, and you say that you, work, you, you have work experience in another ex-university, how dare you apply for this kind of a job? And my answer was, typically people from top universities are usually top people, not always. And usually people from low rated universities are low performing people, but not always. If you're looking for a person from a top university, I'm not a person, but if you're looking for a quality person, a top person, that's me. Well, I said, first of all, thank you for your so speech. Are you going to have it? Of course. Already have it. So, we have time? Yes. Two more. Two more? No, we have given two hours. You know, at least today, finished 10 hours. That's my time. Okay. So, let me go for now. Okay, first master. Hear me of the day. The topic is the teacher you loved in your school days most. Why? The teacher you loved in your school days? Why? What do you? <laughs> Table topic master and penalty plus masters. Anybody in your city? Yes. The teacher I loved most in my career, not in the engineering professional uh, time. Their teachers are very professional, they took up a different angle. But the teachers which I had in the school days, they are the real teachers which made me to feel very little teacher because. They, their attitude is not like the, you say their happiness, it comes, the happiness comes to different ways. So one of the happiness which made me true happiness is interacting with the teachers. They come up, come to you with the proper, your, your weaknesses. In fact, their weaknesses, what they show, that is why today I am here to specifically telling their weakness in a very nice manner. They will spell your weakness in a, in a, in a way where you can improve yourself. That's that is one of the, among the aspects about the teachers, what you are talking about the teachers and their goodness. So I had teachers in mathematics, of course, that had, the teachers were different. In fact, they were very really harsh. They mean, my years, even if I think of my two years, it was reddish all the time and then I was doing with teachers. So even if, finally, if you see that that is the love towards you and wanted to you to become a proper person, to a knowledgeable person. So that way I really appreciate 
those teachers, those who are really I mean, have had a very loved way of you. They don't want you to be a normal person. They don't do that kind of harsh treatment. I will not become an engineer by this time. So, teachers are always teachers. You know, when you say the truth, happiness, it is like, uh, it is that your attitudes towards the things which you are taking up in life. So, any, any kind of uh, problems you are facing, how is your attitude towards that? The teachers, only through teachers only you can learn how to tackle your problems. That, that is one way of improving your attitude step for looking at different problems. What do you think? So, teacher, next teacher. I thought it was only teachers. Was she very teacher? Of course. You are right. Do we have time? One more?
Speaker 2 was the Anup Kumar Gupta. He has taken one minute and 42 seconds, so he is also qualified. And speaker, third speaker was myself, and I have taken one minute and 56 seconds, so I am also qualified. So, fourth speaker was Asha. He has taken two minutes and five seconds, so he is also qualified. And the fifth speaker was Rashid. He has taken 1 minute and 54 seconds and he is also qualified. And Rama Raj. So, the sixth speaker was Rama, Rama Raj. And he has taken 2 minutes and 10 seconds and he is also qualified. And the sixth, seventh speaker was Shiva. Shiva. And he has taken 2 minutes and 20 seconds and he is also qualified. So, I hope congratulations to all of you.
coming to the Toastmaster meeting regularly. And our today's general evaluator, Toastmaster, Mohammad Ashraf, he is by, by profession, he is an IT person. He is having his own industry, IT industry. Our request Toastmaster, Mohammad Ashraf, to come forward and give the general evaluator.
time to speech can be worth missing. Because it's had an opportunity to get it filled. That will give you much better priority even to the speakers. So sorry, sorry not to the speakers, but the audience. Again, I'm talking about the timer. See, we used to see, I even we used to some something called a bell. Okay. See, even if as the present you have a time allocated for around five minutes, you were on the you were using the body for almost 12 minutes. Okay. So five minutes is allocated. Maybe one more minute. Okay. When you go clock that, that time. You have, you should have, the timer should have something called a bell. First, the bell. Giving, because if you are not looking at the line, you are going to fit it in the bell. And even if you are not stopping, you have got an opportunity to put a bell a couple of times at least to give an indication that the time is off. You should have that thing, you should be having that device here, you should be able to use it. There is nothing wrong with it. Because it's the responsibility of each and every member to maintain the time frame which is allocated to him because we need to respect everyone. Even if it's a president, it's a good thing. Again, I'm just coming out to something totally different. As per the COVID communication manual, CC manual. Go to page number 71 and 72. You can take it. What it says is the scope of generic evaluate. As you know, I have a master in the world. We used to have a practice and we were following the TMI manual. We were, most of the case we were following. Okay? As it is. Simple example is about the general evaluation. It is the responsibility or scope of the general evaluator to take care of the entire evaluations, including the speech evaluator. Here, what I have noticed is the top pass of the evening he is calling the evaluator to give the speech evaluation. That is supposed to be done by the general evaluator. That means the role of the general evaluator starts along with the speech values. Okay? Not just coming speak here at the last minute. Because what will happen is general evaluator is the responsibility of the general evaluator to explain well the role of evaluators to the entire audience. Because I was offering it this very well interview. Then I was going through the pathways and we also here today. So I had this talk in the right so I was going to fight. So my suggestion is do need to change the agenda with the next meeting sir. If you all the club officer can give it. That's my suggestion. Even if anyone you want to have in a reference at all, you can go to tmtopmasters.org, then membership, then club to meeting roles, general event, is written by the Again, I got one more suggestion. See, especially in the speaking order, I suggest you go for more up approach rather than record for the highest level speaker first to the podium and suppose this speech is 15 minutes okay then we are losing the I mean, the other people may, they may lose the interest because they are making the best one at the first itself instead of that the highest speaker has to be called first then next then next then next that will be a Better method to form. Even I am not talking about this meeting alone, last meeting. We had a bad experience, I am very sorry to say that. We had uh, the speaker there on the podium. We had a lot of distractions. 
people are coming now, going, coming and going now. So they are asking me, okay? I'm not, today it was water only, I am not going to touch it with that. Again, something called the mature. Here we are missing that water change. Even though we talk commonly and then do that, we want to get that. That is one. The second thing that he has come, right? How many of us are going to have? Again, my suggestion is, sir, particular. If for your attention also, we are suggesting that we much more here. Can we have a break after the speech, after the speech is given and before the graduation? The advantages. First one, what is happening is, if I am the evaluator and if I am getting the, if I am supposed to evaluate the first speaker, I am missing second and third and fourth speaker because I don't have time to listen to them. I need to concentrate on my evaluation script because they are not highly experienced because pastors they are coming from the now. They are all learning by doing. So normally what will happen is if you are giving the 10 minutes break, so we will have a time to get refreshed if we have an access for us. And if you have a event of hospital to any kind of uh, all attempt has to be done, they can do that. Right? At that time you can have the key and we can have some, some small network session for that. That's again the suggestion. Again, we can plan exactly, we can plan it and we can put it in the agenda and let us try to implement it in a strict manner because moving, going ahead with the meeting or taking the meeting in a mode way is not only the responsibility of the person, it is not only the responsibility of the top master of the meeting, it is the responsibility of each and every member of that part. All right? Again, a couple of hours, some more suggestions. See, we need to, last time also I was looking at those places. Something called unit and members. We need to see, we all are each and every one of us. We need to do some sort of uh, this even we can use the WhatsApp. If I ever say something that the club, or the club and the clusters, we can hear some flag or something. We can forward to our own personal groups are there, or of other groups are there. And let us try to forward and do some sort of canvas. Let us try to get a maximum number of guests here. We will convert them into members. We need more people because see, we have got a beautiful venue here, right? We are really lucky for that. If you go to other clubs and all, we are not getting this kind of venue set up. Really, really, let us utilize it. Moreover, let us invite more people. Let them also get benefited. Let them also have their, I mean, growing their leadership skills, personal development skills, and their communication skills. Let us extend our support to other people also in our own, in our own reach. One more suggestion is see some sort of motivation for the speakers as well as the new members. Club, we hold a professors international or professors club. It is a non-profit organization, right? Because no one is going to make money out. If we can go for it, why can't we go for it? Trophies, permanently give away trophies, get him to take or even my work I had with Okay? So that is some sort of motivation that I am not saying that it's for me to get some trophies. But when a speaker comes in, when a speaker takes a problem in his room, his wife is seeing that, his children are seeing that, his friends are seeing that. So that way, this will be some sort of motivation for each and every one of us. Consider it. We don't have to go for costly ones. Okay? We can go for some 15 or 20 years. There even we can get the, you know, I mean, our club name also stamped properly. Not just one small speaker, and a different speaker. No, we don't have to. We go for a, we can allocate some budget. We don't cost us much. much. Anyway, I am not taking much of the time now. So we will not have this here. Overall, we had a really good meeting here today. And once again, I extend my heartfelt thanks and congratulations to the Cosmos of the Union. Sir, we had a great job. Thank you.
uh, best speaker? Any guess? Madam Toastmaster Jamila. Thank you. 